All right, here it is. Warhammer Age of Sigmar Aether War, the latest two-player starter for Age of Sigmar. In this box set, you get the forces of Zinch versus the forces of the Karadron Overlords. Uh, and in fact, with the, this release, they have received their uh, battle tomes for second edition. I'm going to turn this box around. As with all two-player starters, you get a great value for both of these starting armies, and it's a great way to, if you've never uh, played Age of Sigmar before, or, or in my case, have not played uh, Age of Sigmar in 2nd Edition, it is a great way to get into the game or get back into the game. Most of these models have been previously released, but uh, the key here is that you get two new um, leaders for your factions in Age of Sigmar. You get the new Magister on Disc of Zinch, and then you get the new Endrin Master with Dirigible Suit. Uh, this has not been released previously. There had, was a Magister model, uh, but uh, not this particular one. We're going to go ahead and take a look at what's inside. Games Workshop does not mess around when it comes to the contents of their two-player starters. Look at how much plastic is in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through each bit of this. Starting with the two new leaders of the uh, factions in this, the Magister and the Endrin Master. So, uh, this is the sprue for the Magister on uh, Disc of Zinch. It's very dynamic. Uh, another key thing that's known about Age of Sigmar is how beautiful the sculpts are for their models. And the new Endrin Master undirigible again pretty detailed pretty cool looking model all right next up we have the screamers again an old model here Next up, we have the Endrin, Endrin Riggers and Sky Wardens. Uh, these are the exact same sprues. You can make three of each of them. Next up, we have the Endrin, Endrin Riggers and the Sky Wardens, and these are the same exact sprue. Um, you can make three of each uh, from these two sprues here. I'm just going to bring it up so you guys can see. Then, last but not least for the Karadron Overlords is the big model in the kit. The Grunstock uh, Gun Hauler, which is the smallest airship in the Karadron's Overlord fleet. All right, last but not least in the meat and potatoes section of this unboxing, you have three Zangor Enlightened and three Zangor Skyfires. Exact same sprue. You can build three of each of them. Uh, and that's it. So we're going to delve into the rest of the box right now. All right. So the cool thing about these two, these new two-player starters is they have this little divider where they have the models on the, the top and on the bottom are the rest. But I think, yep, it's kind of just like the poster, the cover for the Ether War box, and uh, it's very well done artwork. All right, so obviously you're gonna get your flying bases for your Karadron dudes and the Screamers, uh, and this one's for um, another one that was kind of on top. You got your bases, and then oh, and more bases and more flight stands. And then next up we have the rest, which is the the uh, book uh, for the campaign, the mini campaign that's in here. Also the uh, rule book is in here. I'm just gonna open this up off camera and then we'll go through each of the rest of the components. All right, so you get cards here. Um, these are hidden agenda cards for each of the factions. Not quite sure what this is, because again, I haven't played Age of Sumar in a little while, so um, I, I think this just adds a little bit more flavor to your um, your mission. And then you get your War Scroll cards. 
Zangor Skyfire, Screamers of Zinch. Um, these are broken up by faction too, so let me just grab the Zinch stuff here. Here's your Magister. Alright. Uh, and then your Zangor Enlightened. And this is pretty cool. Let me just get these. Of course, the Skyfires and the Screamers. All right. Okay, so here is the War Scroll for the new Endrin Master and Dirigible. Get your Sky Wardens. A lot of abilities here. The Indrin Riggers. That's, that's such a hard name to say. I, I keep wanting to say Engine, but I'm, it's Endrin. And then lastly, the Grunstock, Grunstock Hauler, the little ship. All right. Then you got your uh, Ether War build guide. This just shows you how to build all your models. Um, since I've played, they've actually modified these these uh, build um, manuals so that I'll tell you which base to use. So that's kind of cool. Everything is color coded as you start completing your model moving forward. And again, you know, because there's so many models, there's a lot of stuff going on here. And then you get your paint guide if you're going to use Citadel paints to, to work these guys up. Next up, we have tokens and rulers. So, pretty neat. And then the two books. You got your basic core rules for the game. Uh, this is actually going to be very useful uh, since I've not played second edition. Um, and I'm sure it's not that much different, but again, you know, there's going to be some changes between first and second. And this will get you up to speed. Or if you haven't played, again, um, Age of Sigmar, very simple to play very easy game to, to learn to pick up so um, this is definitely going to be the guide for you if you don't know how to play and then lastly you got your ether war fluff and campaign book so this gives you kind of a history or a brief overview of what's going on uh, in terms of why the the Karadron overlords are, are fighting against the forces of zinch beautiful artwork and again, you know, uh, kind of a gallery of the models painted in the Citadel style. And um, got battle plans and all that stuff. So, all right, that's it. That is the unboxing. And there it is. Warhammer, Age of Sigmar, Aether War. In Age of Sigmar, two players starter with the Karadron Overlords and the Disciples of Zinch. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more unboxing videos from Wargaming Noob.